Hey guys, welcome back to the Hat House. Appreciate you coming back by. Um, we're gonna wait for a few minutes to get some people in here. I'll kind of explain what we're gonna do tonight. Uh, we're definitely gonna open these boxes that have some really cool vintage hats. And about halfway through, we're gonna give away our Keebler hat. I believe in elves. It's time to give this away. So we're gonna give this away when we're about halfway through. And then if we get enough people in the live here, that uh, if you comment and you uh, share and you like the video uh, to get it out there, we're going to give away another hat that uh, is in one of these boxes. I don't know what they are. Uh, we might kind of decide as a group what we want to give away. So all right. So if you make a comment, then you'll be entered in. And at the end, we'll uh, we'll draw for everybody that's made a comment. And then we'll give the Keebler hat away about halfway through. And if you all have any questions while we're going through the box, any questions about hats at all, be happy to answer those as well. As again, again, thanks for tuning in. First question is, which box? A or B? I really don't know which one's in either one of them, uh, but need a little audience participation on uh, which one. Leave it a little bit up to chance uh, which box we're going to open. A it is. James, you were first, so you got the pick. All right, let's see what's in here. And as we're going through, like I said, we'll uh, pick out another hat that's really cool in here. Uh, and we'll give away that hat as well. All right. We're starting off with a bang with an awesome fishing hat. Uh, like I said, these go for around 30 bucks. Uh, this is a, just a vintage Cabela's fishing hat. Uh, they do a lot better in the spring, but a really cool hat. We got us another conductor hat. This one is by Oshkosh, though, so it's good. Um, and it has a it's size small. At least it has a size tag in it. Someone says, what hats do you sell? What hats do you want to get? Um, what hats do I sell? I sell almost every hat that I come into contact with. Um, I really prefer to get sports hats. If I could get all sports hats, that would be my that would be my ultimate goal. But uh, I'll sell any hat, just like that fishing hat. People overlook those things, like those fishing hats. They do really well. Uh, it's not the fishing season right now, and hunting hats do, are doing really well right now. But uh, things like those fishing hats, they, they sell pretty well. If you can pick them up for a few dollars and flip them for 20 to 30, they're good. Uh, next up was this Oregon painter hat. It was kind of in rough shape, though. It's got some, uh, what is that? They're, they're holding it together by duct tape, so I'll have to figure that out. Really cool. That might be 70s, though. Cool 70s painter hat. Uh, and then we got just a regular felt hunting hat. The top of the boxes usually have a bunch of fishing hats and stuff. Another nice fishing hat with this big neck flap on it. And the clip is always really good, too, for the boaters so they don't lose their hat if it flies off. And another good fishing hat. It's got, like, a leather bill on it and a fish in it. That's a good $30 hat, too. All right, everybody's favorite. Everybody goes crazy for this right here, the Carhartt hats. This one is, uh, it's newer, but still nice Carhartt hat, insulated, really good for the winter. That's a good hat. Was this an auction buy? Um, not an auction. I have, uh, I have a fellow that picks some hats for me. He loads up the boxes and uh, sends them to me after I cut him a check for them. A uh, big sun hat, kind of a sun hat. And then we got buckets. Buckets usually sell really well if they're decent brands. Don't know what the brand is on that one though. Check that one out. 
and another flat cap. You just kind of threw these in here. And another sun hat. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, looks like we've got some pretty good uh, trucker hats. CDA. Anybody know what uh, company that is? Really nice trucker hat. VMAX. That, that's a vintage hat. We'll definitely need some cleaning up, but uh, I'll have to look up what VMAX is. Have you sold Oakley hats? Oakley hats, yeah, they do pretty well. Most of the time they're $15 to $20 hat. Uh, but be on the lookout for the vintage Oakley hats. I think usually the vintage Oakley hats have, like, they'll say software in them. Uh, those are usually the older ones, but vintage Oakley hats can go for a little bit more. They're just really hard to find in good shape because uh, people that had Oakley hats, they usually wore them to death. Uh, then we got a Golden State. This is just a regular Adidas Golden State. A nice Napa trucker hat. A big patch on it. We've got a vintage Carolina Panthers. This is a nice hat. This one, I have to test it out. It's actually got the uh, LED lights in it. Logo 7. What's the most expensive hat you've sold? Most expensive hat ever? Uh, th this past year, I sold a sports specialties hat around $140, one with the side logo on it. It did really well. Do you ever sell cowboy hats? Cowboy hats? No. Um, I don't ever get them, really. I probably wouldn't either because the shipping on those is really tough. That's a really big box, and I just don't specialize in uh, cowboy hats much. Uh, next up was a really cool vintage, the Spirit of Freedom, Winston. Has a nice big eagle embroidery on it. This is a really cool hat with the rope on it. This one will sell in no time. This is a really good hat right here. All right, next up was a Five Strikes Undefeated hat. It's usually a $20 hat right here. Undefeated usually does pretty well. DNJ Farm Supply. I don't know why you gave me that hat. That will probably go straight to the lot. Uh, Nissan 50th anniversary. This one is cool. Uh, I don't know how old Nissan is, but their 50th anniversary looks like it was in the 80s or maybe the 90s. This is really cool, though. This nice embroidery on it. Nice snapback Nissan hat. David Wilt said, just sold a Buffalo Bills Carhartt hat for 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. Those those Carhartt, uh, was it by 47 brand? It's usually a collab. 47 brand and Carhartt, um, they do really well. Uh, next up was a good year. Nice good year with patch on it. And this one just says Union on it. We got a Patagonia hat. Oh, Mustang Ranch. These do awesome. I'll have to, I'll have to cover up right here. But uh, Mustang Ranch, uh, Nevada, uh, brothel hats, they do really good. Um, what's her name? Um, oh, it's from uh, the burger thing, Bob's Burgers. Bob's I Burgers? I don't know what her name is. but uh, Oh, here it is. It says Bob's Burgers inside of it. <laughs> Still don't know what her name is though. So yes, it was 47 grand. Yeah, those are really cool hats. They do well. We've got a John Deere. Still got the tag on it, which is cool, but uh, it's got a lot of foam in it. We'll have to clean that one out. And it is K Products. K Products still with the tag, but with some disintegrating foam. Probably still a thirty dollar hat right there. Once you get it cleaned up, that's a good one. Let's know how is the Patagonia hat. I'm assuming, like, does it sell? This one? How is it? It's pretty dirty. This one is pretty dirty. I think, like, how well do Patagonia hats sell? How well do Patagonia hats sell? 
Uh, I, I actually have a video about a breakdown about Patagonia's, but the short of it is if it looks like this, this looks like almost every other Patagonia hat out there. It's about a $10 to $15 hat. If it's in perfect condition, maybe a $20 hat. Now, if you find a special one like a flying fish or you find one that says live simply on it, uh, and then they have some other uh, – some other logos that are really hard to find. That's when you can get into the 50 to hundred dollar hats. And then also in the Patagonia, you're looking for what they call them duck bill, uh, or some people call them spoon bill. They have the really soft bill on them. And those can go pretty well between 50 to hundred. If you find like an awesome pattern in them, then you could be talking two or $300. But uh, in Patagonia, it's really, you're really looking out for, the vintage ones and then the ones that have different patches or different embroidery on them are really good. The basic everyday Patagonia hats are really a $10 hat pretty much. Um, next up is we got a Huff five panel hat. This one's cool because it's wool. This one will do pretty well, probably 15 to 20. Like Zach Jackson, boogity boogity, your you, house. You made it. Good to see you. Her name is Louise. Uh, Luis, is that that's the one off of uh, Bob's Burger? Bob's Burger. We got a Tiger Woods hat. This one's in really rough shape. I'm not impressed with this box so far, but uh, hopefully we'll get there. Uh, Are there any hats that sell within one to twenty-four hours? Within one to twenty-four hours, I just sold a Chick Fil A hat in like <laughs> <laughs> twelve hours uh, yesterday, which was crazy. Um, but. But yeah, there it just really depends on the pricing. If you go in and price a sports specialties script hat under the market, it can sell really quick. Um, you just really got to do your pricing. If you're willing to take ten to twenty dollars less than where the market is on some of those good sports hats, they flip just like that. Um, but if you want to be where the market is and get the full price for them, then it it may not. But uh, that fishing hat that I showed you at the beginning, there's some fishing hats like that where um, oh, a lot of those go overseas to Japan. And as soon as I list them, uh, they will they will go for $30 to $40 immediately. And just kind of knowing your market and exactly what they're willing to pay for it. That's how you get the fast sales. Uh, next up, just a Boston New Era fitted size 7. And then my uh, OKC. I'm glad they're doing better because their stuff's starting to sell a little better. The Thunder are doing much better in basketball. Seven and three quarters. That one will do pretty well. You have a merch store. I have a merch store. Um, I haven't promoted it. I really haven't put it out there much. Uh, I, I wanted to buy some for myself. Uh, kind of enjoy wearing it. Um, but I haven't really promoted it. There is links below this where you could look at some of it. I'll probably eventually transition to something different than uh, it's on Teespring. So it's just kind of upload your logo and put it there. But next up Ferrari hat. And I've told you not to list these on eBay. I still recommend you don't list this on eBay. I would put it Depop, try to sell it locally, but still get $30 after you get it cleaned up, get 30 to $40 for a Ferrari hat. This one is obviously looks officially licensed. It looks good. It well made. It's probably real Ferrari, but I still won't put it on eBay. Um, I will usually go to Depop or something else like that. And I won't put the fake ones on Depop either. I don't try to sell fake stuff at all. But if I'm pretty sure it's real, um, I'll put it somewhere else, but not eBay, because they'll take it down even if it is real. What percentage returns do you get on that? Uh, right now, my return rate is around 1.5%, and that's everything. That includes everything. Hats are probably a little bit higher. I would call them they're probably around 2% on our return rate on hats, and a lot of times it is just for it didn't fit. Uh, next up, nice one here. we got a Sports Specialties plain logo, one size fits all. Uh, these are this is usually a thirty to forty dollar hat, but this one's really cool. It's wool. That's a cool hat. Parsec Jack said, uh, "Mom and Pop Thrifty sold a sports specialty script hat last week or so. 
for 150 in like two hours. Wow, nice. Which do you know what team it was? The team will really changes the price on the sports specialty script hats. I mean, some are just in major abundance. Some you can't hardly find. But uh, you get a good team in those sports specialty scripts, they will go quick. Uh, this is a minor league team, which always does really awesome, too. This is the Fish Sticks. The only thing with this one, it is a little smaller. It's a kid's size. But uh, this Fish Sticks uh, minor league hat usually does really well. $20 to $30 hat. Who do you have winning the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl? I mean... The 49ers, I mean, they're looking really good, but I, I love my Dolphins. I'd love to see the Dolphins get there. I just don't know if their defense is good enough. But I really like Mike McDaniel. Uh, hopefully they make it. Bart Sackjack said it was the Hornets. The Hornets, yeah. Because uh, they're defunct too, right? Uh, because it's now the New Orleans, it's the Pelicans. I think I'm right on that. I'm sure you all correct me if I'm wrong. But I think that one's hard to get. Uh, next up was a Pennzoil, nice Pennzoil trucker. This one's in pretty good condition, always does well. Uh, this one will be good if we can get it cleaned up. World Series, New York Yankees, Twins Enterprise, vintage hat right here, 1998. And I always get questions on how to date the hats. First, find one that has a date on it. This is 1998, and then go to the tag. And then remember this. This one's made in Macaw, and it's by a Twins Enterprise. So you can know next time you find one of these Twins Enterprise made in Macaw. There's probably late 90s and early 2000s maybe, but usually late 90s. These Twins Enterprise hats can do really well. Uh, James Steiner, he got 420 on a white socks. 420 on the White Sox with one with the side logo. Once in a lifetime. Yeah, well, there's probably black with the side logo on it. Snapback. Those are amazing hats. Uh, this one's good right here uh, with the fly fishing on it. Orvis wool hat. That will do well. And then we got uh, ortho fertilizers. Nice vintage snapback. Gonna need some cleaning. It is K product too. Then we got a Sims. Sims is underrated as well. Um, there's not a lot of them out there a lot of times. Even the, the Sims hats sell, the basic Sims hats sell for more than the Patagonia hats do. Sims Fishing is a great brand to look out for. This is a good fishing hat right here. I bet this is a $30 hat. This is the insect shield on it too. Um, I, I probably won't lower this price. I'll wait for uh, March before I even think about marking this down because it should sell for $30 or $40. Sims is a great brand. Well, this one says the Hornets are a team again. Jordan Moore is the majority owner. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. After this bunch, we're going to draw for the winner of the I Believe in Elves. So we'll get that winner out of the way. And if you just showed up, we're also going to draw a winner for anybody that commented here. So make sure you like this video and you share this video. And then we'll uh, also draw a winner for one of the hats that we have here. See if we can come to a uh, reasonable uh, conclusion of who we think should, uh, or what hat we think should uh, be given away out of this bunch too. Next up, it's a nice Pokemon hat. Pokemon is hit and miss. I think this one's newer as well. This one probably will not do that well. Pokemon. We got a Miller. This one's probably late 70s. Man, this is going to need a lot of cleaning, though. That one is cool, though. OSU. I'm going to guess this is the Oregon State Beavers Miller hat. I'll have to look it up, but uh, this one is different. He said it was a vintage Chicago White Sox hat, men's splash wave, snapback, logo athletic. Oh, it was a splash? Yeah, those are awesome. Uh, next up, just a regular Nike Featherlight hat. Good color. 
It colors besides white and black uh, usually sell for a little more, closer to 20. The white and black ones are usually around the $10 mark. Uh, Washington Nationals, uh, World Series champs. The World Series hats are very hit and miss. Sometimes you can get 20 to 30 for them. And sometimes they were just so overproduced that there's they're on every street corner for that team. Uh, and everybody has them listed and you only get 10 bucks for them. So just kind of hit and miss on those until you look them up and see how many are out there. Oh, yeah. Katy Perry witness tour. I miss that tour. But uh, band hats are the same way. Do 100 people have these listed? I'll have to find out. If I have the only witness tour one, then it could be $30 to $40. Or there could be 100 of them out there, and this is a $10 hat. Just kind of don't know. NBA the Finals 1990. This one is different. Usually this is in twill. This is more like a nylon. I've never seen it before. Really surprised the graphics are still on there. This was the Trailblazers from 1990. Nylon. This one is different. That one's pretty cool. <clears throat> we got a Nike Air Max. Always does awesome. Nike Air Max hat. That'll be good. Here's one to look out for. This is Ebbets Field flannel. Uh, the strapbacks, and they usually have uh, minor league teams. That's usually what Ebbets Field flannel does. And they're usually $30 to $50 hats. Um, I'm going to guess it's a Seattle something. Um, but it may be a different. Um, it, could be, it could be Negro League. I don't know. Or it could be minor league baseball. Just have to look it up. But. Anytime you see Ebbetsfield flannel, they make awesome hats. This one's fitted. They make really good strap backs as well. These are they usually have this green underbrim like this too. They're usually really awesome hats. Heart Sec Jack said it was a parachute pants material. Yeah, exactly. They probably wore that with their parachute pants. Um, but uh, hopefully that one does well. It says it actually says ripstop in it, too. That's kind of this uh, fabric. Whenever you can see the squares in the fabric, it's called ripstop. And I've never seen a ripstop in a hat, though. That this one's made by Universal. This one is super, super weird. All right, Star Tours. I don't know what that if that's a parody of Star Wars. It's a corduroy hat, and it is vintage. It'd be interesting to look up what Star Tours might be. All right, another uh, Express Mail, U UPS or USPS hat. <clears throat> we got Pin Air. Pin Air. The Spirit of Alaska. So, 50 years serving Alaska. Well, here's an oh, this one's gonna be good. John Force stuff always does really well. Drag racing, John Force. This one feels wool. Got the Made in USA snap on the Chase Authentics tag. Huge embroidery, John Force. Really cool hat right here. I, I would say, I think John Force usually does better than uh, the Intimidator. I think it's a little more rare, John Force stuff is. <clears throat> Nasty Titleist. I don't know why I got that one. Uh, here's another parachute pant. Redskins. This one's a nylon Redskins hat. Nice script on it, too. This one should do pretty well. Another basic. This is... Uh, there's a bear, there's a fish, and there's a... Another animal I'm not thinking of, but they're called Fitzroy. This is Fitzroy bear. There's a, oh, a buffalo. And then there's a Fitzroy fish or trout. And then there's this, uh, then there's a buffalo one as well in the Patagonia. Can you sell postal service hats? Or I do. Are they a Vero? Uh, they're a Vero. I would not. Uh, same thing. I would put them, they actually do the best for me on Macari. 
if Macari wants to take down my listing, then they'll they can do it there. I and it's just your risk tolerance for the platform that you're on. Um, if I lost my eBay account, that would be a really bad day, uh, a really bad year, uh, really bad life maybe. So I don't put them. I don't put them on there. Uh, if I lost my Mercari account, it might be a bad day. Is all that would be. Um, but uh, and then I'd probably find a different way to get rid of them. But I would not put the post office on there, even if they're vintage, and especially if you've had a strike or something before. I would not. I would not risk it. This one's also nylon, kind of the parachute pant material, Nike. Nice arc, vintage Nike hat. Look how old this Nike tag is right here. That one is old. Hopefully it will come clean. That's a really cool Nike hat. Because it's Star Tours hats are going for good money. Are they? Star Tours is good? Did it say what it is? It, is Star Tours like a parody of Star Wars or... I, I'm thinking maybe like a aerospace or like a uh, somebody that had a plane that did Star Tours or something. I don't know. Has anyone ever made a list of your hats? FBI, please share. No, we should probably do that. Put our collective knowledge together to make an, a good list of everything that we should not list. Look at this new air hat. That is pretty cool. I have not seen, this one is also like nylon. Hmm. It says polyester, but this one is really different. It's got the uh, MLB hit on the back. Seattle Arc right here on New Era. That is pretty cool right there. I bet that one sells quickly. Uh, then we got a regular Bass Pro. This one is bet. There's a difference in the Bass Pro a little bit but you're only talking a couple of dollars. Uh, there's an embroidered Bass Pro, and then there's the ones that are just printed on and slapped on there. These are a little bit better. Um, this one's embroidered Bass Pro. Then we've got the nice LA Dodgers with the gold logo. That will do pretty well. Seven and three quarters. So I sold my Vintage Express Mail hat last week after being listed for two years. <laughs> really? On eBay? They <laughs> You made it two years, so good job. Uh, North Face, uh, regular North Face hat. That's a $10, $15 hat. Doesn't do too awesome. Oh, this one's good. Uh, Lamasters and Daniels, nice big trucker, nice big patch. Well, that'll do well. Here's another nylon hat. Uh, Pirelli Tires. Pretty cool vintage Pirelli tires hat. And then, man, we got an Arc'teryx like two or three weeks in a row. We got a nice Arc'teryx hat here. Uh, I say nice. It's not nice. It's pretty rough. It's pretty uh, faded. But uh, it'll still sell. It's Arc'teryx. All right, we'll go through these few, and then uh, that's about half the box. Then we'll draw our winner for the Elf, and uh, then we'll do the rest of the box. All right, regular Kevu hat. Y'all see me sell these. $15 to $20 hat right there. Is our Macari store, is it Hat House? Uh, no, it's hidden. <laughs> uh, then uh, I have no idea what this hat is. No idea what that, is that like from a costume maybe? Yeah. Do you use hats for girls or women so? Uh, yeah. Um, I would say women's hats mainly um, like the Adidas hats and the Nike hats and the workout hats and running hats. They, they seem to do pretty well. Um, the sports hats are really hit and miss. The, the ones that have like uh, sequins and stuff on them, they do pretty well for women. The regular basic ones do not. Here's a Doug Bill hat. This is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Doug Bill. And you want to be on the lookout for these. This one's outdoor research makes this one, but this is a really lightweight hat that you can kind of fold up and put in your pocket. These always do really well. These are pretty cool little fishing hats. Art Sack Jack says that we should get the post office out of the way. He says he wants one of them post office hats. Just got. All right. Post office has been nominated. 
Sounds like a winner to me. Look at this Cabela's hat. This, I wish I had this one last month because it would have already sold by now. It's a Gore-Tex Cabela's super warm blaze orange. That gum it. I got better. I got to get this one listed tomorrow because I don't want hunting season to completely go by. Still have the tag on it right here. Now that's a beautiful hat. He said, oh, snap. I meant I'd buy one. <laughs> Uh, I'm all for giving one, giving that one away. All right, we're halfway through. Uh, let's go to Mary. She's going to pull up her screen, and uh, she's going to uh, go through the giveaway. Uh, we'll do an automatic generated person for the giveaway. Uh, we'll pull all the comments from uh, the video that we talked about the giveaway in, and then we'll uh, we'll pick one winner, and then we'll pick a backup winner in case that person doesn't come forward. And when you I'm going to, in the comments here, I'm going to put uh, the email to email me. And if you happen to win, then just email me and I'm going to give you a secret word to comment so we can make sure that it's you. So we're ready to go to Mary and uh, see who won the elf hat. Okay. We had 65 comments on the video. Let's pick a winner. Beth in the 305. Beth in the 305. I think she comments a lot on our videos. That's awesome. She said, yes, I believe in L's. The Mountain Dew hat is a flash from the past. All right. Congratulations, Beth. That's really cool. Um, so, Beth, make sure you email me. I'm going to put in this description of this video the email to email me at so we can get you the hat sent. Uh, and then we're going to pick a backup winner real quick. Just in case Beth never gets back to me, like in the next, I'll give her three days. All right. Next winner is going to be, they're actually in the chat, Wellness Wisdom. Wellness Wisdom is the backup. All right. So let's hope Beth doesn't uh, see this video. Uh, and then uh, I'll let you know in about three days, Wellness, if, uh, if we can send this out to you. All right, we got our winners. Awesome. Now for the second half. And here's what I'm talking about on different on Patagonia, especially if this was a little bit cleaner. Hopefully, I can get it clean. Uh, see, this one has this is called a, it says ironclad on it, and it has like a pickaxe on it, and it is not a basic Patagonia hat. Uh, this is when you can push the uh, asking price up to $30, $40, $50. Just kind of depends on how many of these are out there. But uh, this is one that you want to look for just when you start finding different patches in Patagonia. It's when you want to start pricing them up. So we've got a nice uh, Seattle vintage. This is AJD Super Stripe. Pretty good condition. My uh, steamer has been doing pretty well on these too. Uh, getting these creases out. So that one should shape up pretty nicely. Nice vintage Gatorland Zoo with a big patch on it. That one will do really well. Orlando, Florida. Uh, we got a Chicago White Sox with the side patch. This one is newer. You can just tell because of the white and it says Cooperstown on it. Usually those are newer. But it is a World Series 2005 side patch. Uh, here we got a Lululemon. Usually I get the plain Lululemons all the time. But this one has, has I bet this one was is a little more. This might be a $30 or $40 hat. It has a side, pack, side pocket on it. Lululemon hat. And it's a good, good geometric print. Then we got a... Keeping our flag burning, or flying, not burning. There you go. There's your good trigger hat. You All seem right. to get a lot of Seattle team hats. Any reason why? Uh, I might know somebody near Washington. <laughs> that might have, uh, that might be where uh, somebody I know is. Uh, next up, Von Dutch is awesome. Von Dutch is a great hat. I would think everybody here will probably know this one. Uh, $30 to 
If you get a really cool print, I mean, you can talk between 50 to 60. This one's pretty basic. So, but Von Dutch is a great brand. Uh, here's another Sims hat. Sims, I'm telling you, is underrated. I do not know what it, that is on there. Is that a, it almost looks like, is that an apple or a butt crack? Is that a, oh, it says, or is that a fish's gill or mouth? That's crazy. I think it's a fish's gill. Weird. <laughs> Uh, then regular North Face, lightweight North Face hat. Oh, here we go. Uh, vintage 49ers do awesome. Uh, this one will do great. Vintage corduroy. I always got to check the bills on the corduroys to make sure they're not creased because they're usually cardboard. They get really wavy. The bills usually go before anything, but this one will do really well. 49ers, Super Bowl 23. Is that Montana in the back of the end zone Super Bowl? Mark said, Jack said, you better be careful getting hats identified. <laughs> He's the one that told us what that one said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we got, uh, got an Indy 500, Mitch Trucker. Then we got our Toronto Blue Jays, regular fitted, new era, all dirty. Then we got. There you go. Check out these bears. They're getting busy. <laughs> Alaska bear trigger hat. And another, my favorite Carhartt. Just in time for the winter. The ear flaps. Another Nike feather light hat. A regular Cummings diesel. These usually do not do well at all. Cummings sets. Take forever. Polar bears need loving too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, vintage Carhartt, actual canvas, Carhartt vintage. <clears throat> is your fifty percent sale still rolling? Fifty percent is off. Um, we're actually trying to build. I we haven't been to five thousand listings in the store since probably the summer at some point. So I'm really trying to build up the listings over the, we're trying, our goal is to be to 5,000 by Monday. So I put the sale back to the normal, our normal strategy is just how old the item is. If it's, if it's a month or so old, then it's 20%. Then if it's older, then I go 30% and then I go like 40, then 50%. I usually do an age markdown strategy like that. Um, and I kind of went back to more of that. Uh, so no 50% on everything right now. Uh, here's the other Bass Pro I'm talking about that you don't usually want. See, this isn't embroidered. It's like a vinyl plastic. These are really cheap. And luckily, I got two of them. <clears throat> the dirty regular Patagonia. Chicago Bulls, 47 brand. No bueno. Um, National Park Service, this is the other one. Um, I would, I'm would. i going to stop putting these on there because one of my buddies did get in trouble for a National Park one. So I'll probably just uh, keep posting these elsewhere. Uh, probably won't put any more of them on eBay because he, the, uh, he got the letter the other day about the National Parks, the vintage ones even. So that kind of sucks, but uh, these hats do well. Uh, they can be a $30 hat right there. The ones with the patches on them do even better. That one's embroidered. Said I have zero strategy on any of this. I just list crap that never sells. <laughs> mark it down. Uh, the older it gets, mark it down. Um, my advice is to use store categories. Like everything that you list this month should have been in the month of November. And then you can go back and just mark that store category down. And say it's two months from now, and you're like, man, I listened to that stuff way back in November. It's been 90 days. I want to mark it down 20%. I'll just run a sale on the November store category. And that's the best way I found to uh, organize it. How many hats do you have in your personal collection? Personal collection, probably up to 20 or 30. 
not not a whole whole lot. A lot of these hats on the wall are just for show. Uh, I really only keep Sooners hats. I kept one Miami Dolphin hat. <clears throat> it's a little nostalgic for me, but most of my hats are the Oklahoma hats, and they're really the only ones I ever keep. This one is a uh, Seattle Seattle Mariners fitted, and then a uh, Seattle SuperSonics. Of course, Seattle SuperSonics is awesome. Defunct now, they're now the Oklahoma City uh, Thunder. So finding vintage Seattle Seattle SuperSonics hats kind of hard to do. Hopefully, this one comes clean. And another Seattle SuperSonics. And a vintage Tiger Woods. He's going to play again. Supposedly he's playing this weekend, or he played today. Does anybody know if he did any good? Hopefully, because I have some Tiger Woods hats I need to sell. All right, last bunch. All right. Fleetwood Mac. And like I always say on uh, the band hats, it just depends on if I have this one and nobody else does, uh, then this could be a $40 hat. If anybody's on eBay right now, they might look this one up, see if I'm the only one that has this one. It does say made in the USA, so it does look vintage. Fleetwood Mac could be really good. We've got a vintage corduroy New York Jets. If it comes clean and Aaron Rodgers comes back, we might be in good shape. Uh, regular Patagonia. Uh, Chicago White Sox. This one is older. This is from like the uh, early 2000s, late 90s. Uh, fitted 7 and 3 eighths. Chicago White Sox. Tigers in 18th. Do what? He's in 18th. Place. 18th place. I guess it's better than last. Uh, I can read your mind. Funny trucker hat. Regular snapback funny trucker hat. Then we got a huff hat. Regular skater huff hat. <clears throat> this one will do well. It's kind of an alternate logo for the Seattle Mariners. The alternate logos always sell for a little bit more. This one's a good size, seven and a quarter. And then we got a vintage 1994 Chargers champions. Champions of what? Oh, AFC champions, I guess. I guess maybe they won. Did, is that Philip Rivers? Maybe they actually won. This was not on the new, new era. It's pretty clean, too. This one could do really well. It's wool. That, that might be a good hat. Uh... New York Giants wool snapback. This one's on the new era as well. Both these hats are really good once they get cleaned up. Those last two hats will be $30 to $40 hats. <clears throat> Regular Huff Denim. In NOFX, NFX. Maybe. This one looks like it's newer though. So somebody probably just slapped this on here. This isn't vintage. So. This one is not as good as it could be. Uh, here's a, this is different. This is a Diamond Collection Sports Specialties Detroit Tigers, which you don't see Sports Specialties Diamond Collection very often. It is fitted. Good thing the size is still in there. If we can get this one shaped back up, it could be pretty good. Um, but we're always looking on the sports specialties. We want the ones with the side logo. This one doesn't have it, so it's kind of a basic one. Probably a $20 or $30 hat if we can get it into shape. <clears throat> uh, year 2000. Vintage hat. Here you go. This one will be great. As soon as we can get that one cleaned up, I bet that one does really well. This one might be iffy for eBay as well, but... Uh, We'll check it out. It's definitely vintage. Uh, Playboy with the rope on it. 
will do really awesome. Uh, Gibson Guitars. Still has a tag on it. It'll be good. Another regular Patagonia. One, two, three. I got the market corner on the Bass Pro Hats. So uh, there you go. Just what I needed. The cheap, cheap ass Bass Pro Hats. Thank you so much, guy. <laughs> Maybe we should have picked Box B. And the last four, we've got um, Boston Red Sox. It's good because it's a different color. I sold one that was like black today uh, just because it was a different colorway for like 30 bucks. This one's pretty dirty though, but you're always looking for the different colors on the new era. And another Bass Pro. And here we go. I might keep this one. It's a little big though. This is Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the creamsicle. The creamsicle stuff, uh, it's definitely retro. They do really well for the creamsicle colorway for the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Really good. So there's gold in that palm hand. There is not some, a lot of vintage, though. No. <clears throat> there was usually get more vintage than that, but there are some really good ones in there. All right. Did anybody... Uh, and that's a band set. All right, which one are we going to give away now? Mary says I should do the Playboy one. Y'all good with that? I like that Bucks hat too. The creamsicle is hard to find. I don't know. That, that might be a $40 hat, honey. <laughs> But so is that elf one we gave away. It's probably a $40 hat as well. But uh, I'm all good with giving this one away. All right. We're going to do it. Yeah. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> I think I'm going to hold on to the... I might wear that creamsicle hat. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready? We're going to pull up the uh, giveaway wheel. And we're going to give this one away to our lucky commenter. Make sure it's got it. All right. Ready? David. David? I don't know why it's not spelled right. It didn't spell right, but we know who it is. Is that right? Yeah, it's David Gwilt. G W I L T. I don't know. I didn't type it in there right. Oh, well, we know who we're talking about. David, make sure uh, after this video is over, I'm going to update the. Uh, the description, I'll have the email in there. Make sure you email me. Like I said, I'll have you, uh, I'll give you a special keyword and uh, we'll get you this uh, and you'll have to comment that. So I'll make sure that it's you. Uh, and then uh, we'll get you this hat sent out as well for tuning in tonight. Really appreciate you guys, everybody tuning in. Uh, make sure you like this video, you share it, and uh, I'll post up when we're going to do the next box and we'll do the same thing there. Everybody that, uh, let everybody know to come by. And uh, we'll give away another awesome vintage hat on the next time. See you guys soon.